cold air is getting ready to plunge into the U.S. And Hurricane Aaron is huge, and it is moving up into the northeast, just off the coast of the mid-Atlantic and New England. We also have a marginal to slight risk for severe thunderstorms today through portions of the northern plains and upper Midwest. It's August 21st, 2025. Let's get into the updates. If you're anywhere in the blue, especially the darker blues, your temperatures are about to get a lot cooler. And this cool air could last around 10 days or potentially for some as long as two weeks. While I'm making this video, our 12Z Euro isn't out yet, so we're going to look at the GFS. Although I will tell you the GFS and Euro have been agreeing for the most part on this cold air. Here we go. As we get into Friday night, you can see that cool air being injected into the northern plains and beginning to move down into the southeast, where it looks like it will spread out to the east and west and really envelop a large portion of the lower 48. Some of these areas I'm consistently seeing the most below average temperatures are through portions of the central plains and Ohio Valley. This is where we've seen some of these model runs put temperatures 20, 25, even 30 degrees below average at some points. Getting into the middle of next week, we could see widespread 50s as our lows pushing down as far as states like Arkansas, Kansas, and Missouri. While we potentially see widespread 40s as our lows up here through portions of the Midwest, let's quickly talk about the tropics. Hurricane Aaron. Although this is now down to a category two hurricane, this thing is huge. Hurricane hunters have recorded hurricane force winds as far as 100 miles out from the center of the storm and tropical storm force winds pushing out as far as 350 miles. This hurricane could fit about four to five average size hurricanes inside of it. And I don't know off the top of my head if it's breaking any records for size in the Atlantic Basin, but I'd have to think if it's not, it's getting pretty close. Luckily for us, it's moving away from shore. Taking a look out at the rest of the Atlantic Basin, we have not one, not two, but three disturbances that do have the potential for cyclone formation. Although this disturbance down here does have an 80% chance of development now, it's likely going to develop. Hopefully it does take a similar track to Aaron and just stays off the coast. That does look like the most likely scenario right now, but I will update you if anything changes. As of right now, this disturbance out here in the tropical Atlantic may actually pose the biggest threat to landfall if it continues to stay this far to the south, because then it may not feel that pull or that turn to the north until it gets a little bit farther off to the west. But again, this is very far out. Nothing to worry about right now. I'll keep you updated. Lastly, as I said, we do have a marginal to slight risk for severe thunderstorms today up in portions of the northern plains and upper Midwest. We do have this 2% tornado risk today through portions of northwestern Minnesota, southeastern North Dakota, and northeastern South Dakota. We could see some bad weather sparking up as early as 1230 to 1 in the afternoon, which is basically when I'm recording this video. And we could have some more strong storms lingering down to the south of this slight risk, as you can see down there in northeastern or eastern South Dakota. So if you're up at the northern portion of this risk, it should be out sooner. But again, there might be a little bit of a nocturnal threat down towards the southern portion. Although this doesn't look too bad, just make sure if you're in any of these risk zones to stay weather aware and have a way to get weather alerts. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follow or sub. I make posts like this every day and I stream every day as well to try and answer all of your questions. I'll see you in the next video.